Everybody, it's Evicta. It's time to the right here the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Thursday, Mosh Pit. Hope your Thursdays are going off to a good start. We did have another video across 3,000 likes. Thank you very much for making it possible. As now only 21 away from TM Trainer Month, which right now is looking like it's going to line up for the month of May, which is my birthday month. So that should be very, uh, very interesting to say the least. Maybe we'll get a, a birthday beating down here for for the month of may so here's your again we're just continuing our adventures here with the mosh pet of the week sent in here this time around by retro prime title throw was just discarded a royal flush which means that you unlocked the joker i don't remember which one that that one is it's 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 one of the, the one of the better ones so oh yeah it's brain uh Brainstorm, yeah, the one that copies to the left. We just had that one not that long ago. So thank you very much, Retro Prime, and everyone who upvoted that one. Top on in and get rocking and rolling today here on the channel. Seed day is going to be uh, Charlie November Tango Lima 6 Ret. We've got, well, we got Eraser. So those of you who've been waiting for the Eraser Redemption arc, well, here you go, because we're starting with it until we inevitably get rid of it, of course. We also have uh, Fruity Plum, which is going to deal... A decent amount of damage. She does a very good job at targeting, so I will say that. And, uh, yeah, there goes Eraser. See you later. I'm just kidding. I, I, I will give Eraser a chance again, despite my despite my best judgments. Obviously, we want to try to go for high-priority high targets to erase, like uh, spiders or flies. Um, pooters are also kind of like a high-priority. Uh, bonies, um, you know, cloddies, anything like that. There's, there's plenty... Of stuff in the burning basement on on floor one that we can get rid of that will help us later on um we also have we have a good tears rate and good damage here we just have doo-doo movement speed like really 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 bad secret room should be here i'm not going to use the bomb yet because it's our only bomb so i just want to kind of wait burning gapers are they're tempting I, I can't move somehow it it latched onto us i'm not sure how that was possible I mean, Slipped Rib is is kind of whatever. King Baby is also kind of whatever. Let's go see what's inside of our secret room now. If we get a bomb, we can go into the curse room for free, and we get a couple of bombs here, and we're also going to be able to get maybe six cents. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm down with it. We also have another bomb here to maybe get a soul heart. We did. And, uh, yeah. Good, 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 good. So now all we need to do is just find a, a high-priority target to... Re to remove from the game, honestly. Okay. <sighs> I do not know how I keep absolutely flubbing the shot with eraser. It like I think I'm I'm pretty sure I'm like I'm O for like seven in the last seven attempts for trying to get eraser to like actually do something, which is not eraser's fault, by the way. But it would be nice if a racer didn't get the charge used unless you actually hit a target. Or, you know, just get good. So I talked about it. I alluded to it yesterday where we're going to be potentially... There you go. Stop, stop moving while you, while you fire it, moron. Oh my goodness. We we'll get Polyphemus here. So anyway, I alluded to uh, switching up the, the formula here for uh, the questions of the episode. And I think what I'm going to be doing is starting next week, if I remember, is uh, I'm going to be doing a question of the episode. But this time around, it's going to be most upvoted from the mosh pit uh, instead of me asking the questions. Uh, this is something that people were were alluding to, but I will I will emphasize that a I'm not going to answer every single question because people are just going to turn it to like a giant AMA. I want to keep it Isaac related, please. Um, so don't waste your time like asking like oh hey uh, what's your what's your shoe size or what what brand uh, underwear do you wear like yeah it's let's don't don't do that because I'm not going to answer it. You're just wasting your time. Um, I mean, if you want to type stuff like that in the comments, go for it. Like, it, it helps out with the with the with the uh, engagement, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, but it's not going to get read. <laughs> so probably starting on Sunday, we'll we'll switch it up here. Um, the questions of the episodes were they were they were pretty good, but I think that you know just switching up the formula, getting more people involved and engaged with the with the comment section is a good idea. 
And uh, yeah, so we'll probably end up doing that on Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, a couple days from now. Ingram should be here, I guess. No, it's not. This is a big freaking second floor, I got to say. Of course, Polyphemus is fantastic for us for damage. Um, it is going to allow us to not only have the pseudo piercing shots, but also just give us a whole butt ton of damage to augment uh, any tier effect that we have later on. So the only downside to Polyphemus, obviously, is it's a huge, huge, huge tiers down and huge shot speed down. Um, or not shot speed down, but just a, yeah, it's just a tiers down. So you got to be real cautious. I'm going to grab this. You got to be real, real cautious. Ooh. You know what? I do want Jar of Flies because, honestly, screw Eraser. Um, Jar of Flies with, with Polyphemus would absolutely wreck any bosses out there. And I am, I'm here for it. Here we go. Yeah, with Polyphemus, Polyphemus Jar of Flies, yes, sir. Sign me the heck up. And we also have a Golden Bomb again, so we can, again, use our bombs for offense if we need to. But, I mean, with Polyphemus, not really, we shouldn't need to that often. Um, now, we do have a Sacrifice Room. I don't remember if there's any Skulls in there or not. But we, we need to make a decision here. Are we going to go for Angel Deals or are we going to go for Devil Deals? Traditionally, I would say that, you know, Angel Deals are a good idea, but... But at the same time, the way that Polyphemus works with damage, I keep thinking there's a door there. Um, we want to be scaling high, and I mean high, 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 high. Uh, for tier effects, for, you know, even with Mom's Knife or something like that, we, it would be absolutely astronomical damage um, that we can do. I have no idea where the Super Secret Room is. I give up. I also forgot to take the Light Street Counter off the screen. I apologize. I'll do that. After we're done with this floor here. The jar of flies is going to create a fly in the jar um, whenever you kill an enemy. And then you can unleash them. You can unleash them up to 20 as the cap. Ooh, okay, we got that soul heart. That makes me feel a little bit better. I would love to get uh, black powder too, but we're not going to do that. Once again... I don't know why OBS continues to do that. <laughs> Sorry about that. And curse the loss for our sun card. Neat. It's like OBS is like, oh wait, you you want to you want to load the the last scene that you that you want you want to do that? No, oh, no, I don't want to play the o I don't want to play the outro during the during the commercial break. Thank you. Just simply trying to switch it off, as in like the the tracker off. Anyway. Anyway, we get Backstabber here. We still do have to be careful because obviously our movement speed is just doo-doo, but Backstabber Polyphemus is going to be a... It's going to basically apply uh, every single every single shot with Backstabber because it's it goes right through the target, so we don't have to worry about hitting them with anything. You see here, we have to use... I mean, we don't have to use, but it's highly advisable to use your flies whenever they cap out you don't want to you don't, you don't want to be wasting fly spots because essentially you're just you're, you're just making things harder on yourself and then on top of that you're wasting potential reflying uh restocks that makes sense you're you're, you're wasting the restock of the flies bigger room should be here right here I'm going to go for the golden chest here. Potential to ball out of control is uh, quickly snuffed out by a single card. So let's go fight the boss here. I doubt, I doubt we're going to get a devil deal. Regular old HP upgrade is to be expected. You know what, game? You can just have this floor. I've got a sun card. I don't care. We need to catch up from the from the the last the last floor if we're going to try to make a boss rush here. By going on to last week's question of the episode, what is your opinion on Judas's shadow? Do you transform immediately or save it for insurance? The most upvoted comment came in from Eggs with Legs, who said, depends on the situation. If I'm already flying high and flying through the run, I'll transform immediately just to see how good the run is, the run can get. If it's more of a struggle bus, I'll save it just in case, just for insurance in case of catastrophe. 
And I agree with that. Um, one could argue that you, if you don't save it and just use it immediately, then you may, you may avert catastrophe. Um, but I, again, just like everything, it's situational, right? So I definitely agree with that philosophy. Um, second most voted comment came from Blank Akuma, who said, just because I'm not that good at the game, mostly I save it for insurance or as a trade with a good devil do item. And yeah, that's another aspect um, that, uh, you know, you, you can look at it. You can look at Juice of Shadow like currency, um, where if you don't have a lot of HP, but you have you happen to have it on, and you happen to have it on the on deck circle. You can essentially get a free devil deal and still transform without having to lose like all your life or, you know, waste a bunch of soul hearts because you you're trying to hit yourself on spikes or fires or something just so you can take a devil deal. So, and the third most upvoted comment came in from I'm going to say uh Baz 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 no no Grolies. Baz, I'm just going to say Baz. Transform immediately. If I have an extra life that gives stats and and I still lose, it's just a skill issue on my end. And I mean, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't say skill issue, but you know, Things happen to Isaac that you just you just can't control. No, the the yes we would gain a whole lot of a whole lot of tears, but it absolutely ruins the potential of Polyphemus. Like I mean, it it tanks it to the ground. Um, and even then, even with the with the almond milk um, tears up, it still is not significant enough to to really warrant. Now, if we end up getting soy milk or something like that, or piercing shots, then we can start talking. But right now, we don't have any of that. Really hoping that we're going to get a nickel there. Got to be careful in this room because Pretty Plum will hit stuff that you don't want her to. Or you'll get hit by stuff because you shot it yourself. And also the, also the erratic nature of almond milk can cause very, very big problems for you um, with Polyphemus. Another HP upgrade. And yeah... Contract from below and Cambian Conception here. I'm still going to obviously stick with Jar of Flies. The Cambian Conception will at least work with every time we get hit, we get a chance to spawn a, uh, a familiar, a demon familiar. Particularly, we're looking for Incubus, we're looking for Succubus, and we're also looking for D-Bizzle. Uh, we can go maybe... We can get a couple of... Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh mama. Tech 1 plus Polly. Yes, please. We can still maybe, yeah, we are going to be able to get champion belt. Wow, we we are we are flying high right now. So if we can just get some tier, well, now with the thing is now with tech, almond milk becomes actually pretty pretty good here. And then we add more damage here with champion belt. So, yeah, and the thing is now, now that we've gotten rid of Polyphemus, technically speaking, we can get some major tears up and really get out of control. So another nice little feature about this now, we don't have to worry about uh, Fruity Plum taking our targets away from, uh, from Jar of Flies, although I will say... I will say that uh, obviously our damage from the flies is greatly diminished because we've taken all we've taken almond milk. Can we uh, can we stop getting schmooved on, please? What's what is happening? Why did those spikes never did, did am I am I going insane? Did those spikes just never open up for us, or was I looking in the wrong spot of the screen? the backstabber proc there all the way from across the screen thanks to tech one you need to be careful of uh champions obviously with only one hp but we shouldn't even be in this in this spot we we shouldn't have gotten hit by spires and we absolutely shouldn't have been hit by any any freaking spikes uh i am gonna bomb the donation machine now just so we can get this soul heart Also allows us to get a little bit of extra help on the Devil Deal if we get one. But even if we do right now, we can't really afford one. Love to get a movement speed upgrade. You're seeing the real bad potential here for 
disaster if we end up uh, staying slow. That's not to say that we can't defend ourselves, as you're seeing right here. Obviously, if the backstabber procs are going to just wreck everything and anything that they touch. But we really, 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 really want and need movement speed here. Green bloat is not who I want to fight. Luckily, we're able to power through before we got a Nipakak shot off. We get another HP upgrade. And yeah, Little Horn and Brimstone Bombs. I mean, Little Horn is definitely worth it. Saw that fly disappear there. It's because we erased flies with the eraser back when we had it. But I don't know, man. Like, I'm, if we don't get some movement speed here, we could be in some trouble. I want to know what the hell happened in this room. That's that's what I want to know. Okay. Well, south of this map here. There we go. I could be tempted with 0.88 movement speed and no flying to get those. The little horn is going to give us a nice little proc here, especially with piercing. Um, and almost unlimited range. It really just kind of depends on how Almond Milk is feeling for the shot. Got a lot of keys there. No reason not to take these. They're basically free keys. And the claw machine coming up with tech one is just, is really, it really is kind of crazy. I'm hoping that we get some quality tiers ups, but right now the, our biggest concern is movement speed now. Damage, even though it doesn't look impressive on paper, it's still very, very, very strong. Just because of the application rate with Almond Milk, but on top of that, we also have Backstabber. Um, one thing we don't have is movement speed and defense right now. Our best defense is our, is our offense, and right now, our offense is good, but it can be a lot better. Get a range upgrade. So, there's that. We're seeing the mobility issues continue to plague us here as we just can't get away from them, man. Okay. We also can't get away from dead ends. Good. This giant freaking map. Tried my best to walk into that shot. All right. Here we go. What, what, what an item room. Not gonna go into the curse room, obviously, because I don't have a death wish, and we might as well just finish out the meme. And we don't get the left hand. Is it me or is the left hand just not non existent anymore? I feel like I've killed him I've killed Ultra Pride many different times this week, and he just flat out will not drop it. I know that we're killing Ed before Florian, but I feel like I've seen it many times to where it still drops no matter which order you killed him in. We got to get a move on here and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully get boss rush. It's going to be close. Of course, it doesn't help that we've gotten nothing but HP upgrades. Although the HP upgrades did facilitate us at least getting um, backstabber, which is nice. Backstabber is, uh, is definitely top tier effect, especially when you can apply it from afar and you have piercing shots. But we're cutting it a little bit too close for comfort right now in terms of our movement speed and uh, damage mitigation and mo just mobility in general. And because we have, the, the problem is that it's compounded through the issue of, of us having a champion belt, which means that we're going up against much tougher enemies, which could potentially one shot us if we don't get any HP soon. I mean soon. Um, so yes, we do need the HP upgrades, but we, we need a lot of things right now. Okay, metronome is not what I'm looking for here. We do find the full car, which is good. Ah. 
Oh boy. All right. Get this boss rush taken care of here. Great couple of soul hearts. Gonna owe me a lot more than that though, game, but start. Yep. Yep. Obviously, we're not getting any stats here from Mom, which is the reason why getting boss rush here is so imperative. It's proc there by Little Horn. We, we are, uh, this, this run cannot continue like this. We need to get, we need to get movement speed. I mean, it was, it was just obvious right there against mom. If we, if we can't move out of the way of stuff, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> um, I do want to get into the, into the boss trap room. Cause that potentially could have a movement speed upgrade. And we can also get a tap on the sack room. I'm a little bit concerned about our ability to actually beat Boss Trap Room without dying, but we get a Sun card, so in case we do get hit, at least we can get out of there. We can also just go into the Curse Room. We might as well just explore it just to see what's in here, because this is probably a little bit better than us going for the Sack Room. Yeah, we're going to take Uppy's head here, but we're not going to leave with it, because Jar Flies is just demonstrably better. So we have a Sun card. As long as we don't go against Champion Bosses, and we get a Tears Up which is something we desperately need. So as you see here, if we if we had stuck with Polyphemus, yes, we would have gotten a tears up, but it wouldn't have been as it would not have been as impactful as it is right now with Almond Mill. So our damage scaling goes way down, but our tier scaling goes way 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 up with Almond Milk, which is the reason why I wouldn't have taken it unless if we had something like Tech 1, which prevents the we basically don't need to worry about the travel time. That was a great proc by Gimpy too, by the way. So things are things are starting looking up here. We 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 have a a situation that can improve, and it, again, this just kind of shows how how much of a of a of a, a nice combo this is going to turn out to be if we end up getting the items that we need. Um, I think we absolutely have to go for glowing hourglass, even though I just got done talking about how much better Jar of Flies was than Guppy's head. This allows us to undo some damage, which is something we need. I'm gonna hit you with a little with a little trick here that we can do. With the sun card and, and glowing hourglass, we can actually use the sun card, look at the map, and then undo it. So we know exactly where everything is, and then we maintain the sun card. And as long as we remember where where stuff is, we never ever have to use it. So we always have this sort of pseudo like high mapping. Um or full mapping, I should say. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what high mapping is. Though I did just forget where the secret room is because, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here talking. Sitting here talking. That, that is the name of the game here. The Golden Heart, which is going to do absolutely nothing for us. But we know where the boss room is, is the thing. The secret room is south of here. Yeah, it was okay. So south of this next room over here. Which I did see was adjacent to the curse room as well, which is good. I check from below. Or no, it wasn't adjacent to the curse room. Well, we can go into the curse room anyway, but we only have one. We only have one use of glowing hourglass now. Any much is absolutely welcome here. It does give us that movement speed upgrade that we've been desperate for. 
Go into the curse room. See if it was worth it. Wasn't. Now we're flying without having the glowing hourglass, which is which is fine as long as we don't take damage. And with movements with our with us getting a movement speed upgrade, it's gonna be way easier done than said. I mean we're not like we're we're not winning any like land speed records or anything, but Run, going 1.22 is vastly superior than going 0.88 for movement speed. And it's going to keep us much safer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what we want here. Use the hourglass to slow down Mama Gertie here. There we go. And this is going to give us more movement speed from Consolation Prize, which is not necessarily the best use of it, but I mean, I will, t I will take movement speed. We didn't get hit. Yeah, so again, we can go in and uh, we can just simply use the sun card and then study the map and then undo it. Um, although this will take us... Actually, does this consume... I think this takes up the charge of Glowing Hourglass, yeah. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe it gives it back to you. No, it does. Okay. Good, good, good. There's a scenario that, that exists where you actually use the Glowing Hourglass, go back to the last floor, and then you lose you lose it <laughs> that was not it here we just go back to the other floor so that's okay I don't remember where the secret room is but it's usually there and actually it benefits us to use the Sun card uh, in the first room because we get to we get to have three full charges of glowing hourglass instead of having two if I had left that starter room so that actually does benefit us in a good a pretty good way that we can look at the map of the next floor undo it and then get back all three charges because technically speaking in the game's mind we're going back to the first floor uh, or to the next floor I mean so that's pretty good wouldn't mind an HP upgrade here I'm gonna take it. I can lie, I forgot where the boss was. I know I know that, that it's over here somewhere, but Super Secret Room might be here. Yeah. Now, did we have to do that? No. Could, could we have played and should we have played the fortune telling machines? Yeah, maybe. If we were desperate for HP, I definitely would have. And while we're not quite sorted on HP, um, so it gives us eight. This gives us a lot more damage. Yeah, one point two two versus. It's about even, but with with us having crack uh, crack crown, we get we get higher DPS overall because we're dealing more damage, but also firing at a pretty decent rate. It's not as fast with Cancer, obviously, but it's good enough. Um, the DPS can, the, the slightly lower fast, the slightly lower fire rate uh, with the higher damage is, is just way better. It's blocked there by Slip Rib. Very clean and no double deal, unfortunately. There's a loss, Tere. Game obviously heard us talking about our map strategy and once again shut that down. Okay. I refuse to do this room.
a shame that we didn't get more of a tears rate and damage upgrade in this run. Could have been it could have been something really special here, and I can't fault almond milk. I mean, almond milk, almond milk really bring is what brings this build together. Um, I know that I'm not I'm not a huge fan of almond milk in the past, but it really it, it's really a combination of almond milk and tech that does it. Polyphemus is just a damage booster at this point at this point and that's honestly what polyphemus is always it has always and will always be as a damage booster um it's not a tier effect that you really want to rely upon it is a it is a very strong what in the world hit us there excuse me there must have been a shot that was that was i guess masked by one of the bad isaacs i didn't i didn't see anything hit us there Wouldn't mind less than three here. I would not take lard. I don't know if we're going the right way or not. But anyway, this is this combo is 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 held together by tech, by tech one. It's boosted by Polyphemus and it's made possible by almond milk. So it's a trio of items that. By themselves are you know decent except for almond milk um but another great block there by slip rib but combined with everything we're looking very solid this was almond milk would stop firing into the rocks i mean we can see what's in here we can just undo it if there's nothing that we want damage up yeah I guess fine yeah okay, we get the devil card which is not gonna help us out at all you don't want to use the Bible against uh, anything but mom and, and mom's heart. Especially not Stanley. Do not recommend. We're still looking for Isaac here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing the Isaac-related questions. The question of the episode. Um, that way, also, um, I don't have to... Oh, by the way, it's going to work on, a, on the most upvoted comment. Uh, most upvoted questions so um, that way people don't have to wait for me to post like the comments and that sort of thing and I can just read them off uh, as they as I record I'm still going to do it in the same format it's just that like instead of instead of me asking y'all the question now it's flip-flop now y'all ask me the question um, and you know keeping it uh, keeping it basically open for for everybody and it, it, allow, it allows for I think more discussion for sure, and I think that people definitely would would be more excited to hear their questions uh, than uh, you know than like hearing me say like, "Hey, what do you? What's your opinion about backstabber?" Or, you know, sometimes sometimes the questions I try to make the questions of the episode in interesting. A lot of people enjoy doing it. I mean, we still get lots of people who uh, who submit their their responses, but just switching it up every now and then I think would be good. Actually, surprised that Backstabber is not doing more damage here. Whoa, okay, all right, Little Horn, you need to chill out there, bro. Dang right, you're gonna give me that soul heart back. I expected us to have another curse that lost. Uh, well, we don't have to undo this here. Speedball. God's flesh is actually not that bad with the um, with the application rate of um, of almond milk here. Just doesn't work on bosses. Although it would be very epic if it did. Oh, it's hard to tell which if that's backstabber blood or if that's if that's lust blood there. Which would be a great name for a metal band, by the way. I 
Go get a little Gertie. Aw. She never got a chance to shine. But yeah, if anything, this run is a is a golden opportunity to show that, you know, you can take items that you really don't like, and uh, if they're combined in the right way, you can cook up something nice. And Almond Milk Tech 1 and Polyphemus, I mean, there's nothing wrong with Polyphemus, obviously, except for the, like, the aforementioned tears down and stuff. Um, but Almond Milk is definitely the problem child in this, in this, in this whole equation. Look at that. We finally got something out of Cammy Conception. Which I guess is to be expected, because, like, obviously, if we're going to get hit, we're going to just undo it with the uh, glowing hourglass, so... We weren't taking a whole lot of damage towards the end of this run. <clears throat> um, yeah, Almond Milk is definitely the problem child in this whole in this whole setup. And it turning from, I wouldn't take it ever, to, yeah, we take Almond Milk over just having Polyphemus Tech 1, shows you that, like, the potential is there. And I wish that we would have gotten a couple more tiers upgrades. Because that would have really, really upped the DPS to absurd levels. So, um, but no, this is not a delirium killing build. If we had something like, if we had something like Jacob's Ladder, then maybe I would, I would do it. So, but yeah, we're gonna get the dub here. Nice, easy peasy run. And uh, shout out once again to Polyphemus Tech and Almond Milk for making it happen. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Your question of the episode today is going to be, what is your favorite almond milk synergy? Do you like using it? Would you rather have soy milk? Post them in the comments down below. I personally really love Tech 1 with either soy milk or, or almond milk. I think it makes the items just definitively better. But let me know your thoughts on that. The top three most upvoted comments will be read on next week's episode. And thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like CTOP18, Steve with a Lisp, and Pokey Stick. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta.